We are in segment number two, the next segment of Alex's birthday special with Jeopardy Junior Edition for the NES. If you can remember last time I played this game, it was part of Hunter Dillon's birthday special, and we ended up having the Pizza Pack category for the thousand. Will history repeat itself? Let's find out. I guess I'll be I'll be him this time. We have Keith and Anna facing me today on Jeopardy Junior Edition, and let's get to the categories. Baseball teams for 100, please. The St. Louis baseball team is named after a red bird. Who are the Cardinals? Baseball teams for 200. The New York Islanders changed to this new name in 1908. The Yankees, that's right. Baseball teams for 400. This baseball team plays its home games at Wrigley Field. Who are the Chicago Cubs? I'll take baseball teams for 300. The Los Angeles Dodgers originally played here. Oh. Brooklyn, the Brooklyn Dodgers. Yeah, now they play in LA. Or so I, or so I thought. Downside for a hundred. Not right side up. What is upside down? On the downside for two hundred, please. I'll do all six hundred. The business section of a city. What is downtown? I'll take the downside for 300, please. One kind of skiing event. What is downhill? Oh, I added an extra L by accident, but they still took it. Uh, let's have uh, the downside for 400, please. The nickname for Australia refers to it as this land. What is down under beer? What is Australia for beer? I'll finish the downside for 500, please. Okay? The street where the British Prime Minister lives, what is Downing Street? And I ran that category like it was absolutely nothing. Could I finish the other category for 500, please? Baseball teams. Zany Casey Stengel was the first manager when this National League team was formed. Anna. The New York Mets. That's correct. Double your money to $1,000 and you have the next selection. Texas for 100 my home state. The nickname that Texas is known by, what is the Lone Star State? I better do well in this category, otherwise we're going to have problems. Uh, let's stick with my home state for 200 please. During the battle at this Texas monastery, Jim Bowie and Davy Crockett were killed. What is the Alamo? Oh. There. I'll take uh, my home state for 300, please. According to the song, the fifth folk hero cowboy was the Western Superman, to say the least. I'm going to take a guess and say who is Pickus Bill. He's the one. Uh, my home state for 400, please. According to the song, the rose of Texas is this color. What is yellow? Oh, there. I'll finish my home state for 500, please. This Texan became president after John F. Kennedy was assassinated. Who is Lyndon Baines Johnson? Hey, Tiger. Yeah, I better have done well in that category. I'll take Captain Power for 100, please. Captain Power's freedom fighters are called this. Keith. They're the soldiers of the future. All right. 
Glad Keith knew that one, because I was clueless on that one. Fishing for a hundred. The fishing term for throwing bait into the water. Uh, what is casting? I'll take fishing for 200. This freshwater game fish can be largemouth or smallmouth. What is a bass? Fishing for 300. A name for fishing line, rod, and reel. It is also a football term. What is tackle? That's right. Fishing for 400. This lead weight takes a bait and a hook to the bottom. Oh. It's a sinker. Oh, okay. Fishing for 500, please. This tiny fish is sometimes used as bait. Uh, what is a minnow? Well, up to $5,000. Uh, I'll stick with Captain Power for 200. Hawk Masterson has this rank. Keith? No! $200 is going to Wayne Incorporated. I'm saying what is major. Uh, Captain Power for 300. She is Captain Power's only female crew member. Anna. Wrong. Well, no help there, so I'm gonna stay put. The only female crew member is Pilot. Uh, Captain Power for 400. He's the Flying Biodread Sky Sentry. Keith. Sauron. Funny Man for 100. He gets no respect. Who is Rodney Dangerfield? I'll take Funny Men for 200, please. The star of Beverly Hills Cop, he was once a regular on Saturday Night Live. Who is Eddie Murphy? Uh, Funny Men 300. This meatball starred in Ghostbusters and Caddyshack. Uh, who is Bill Murray? Funny Man 400. This funny man starred as Willy Wonka in the Frisco Kid. Who is Gene Wilder? A funny man for 500, please. This great comedian is best remembered as the bumbling Inspector Clouseau in the Pink Panther movies. Who is Peter Sellers? Now the last clue. Lord Dredd's base of operations is inside this mountain. And the mountain is Volcania. Volcania. So I'm at 6700 and a 700, Keith 300. So he's gonna go first in double jeopardy. Well, no Peter Pan category this time, but that's okay. School day is 200. The writing stick used on blackboards. What is chalk? School day is 400, please. The record of a student's progress and work sent home to parents. What is a report card? School day is 600. Advancement to the next grade. What is promotion? Oh, fudge. 
could I have school days for 800, please? Look at all this money I'm racking up. The room where science or computer work is done. What's a lab? School day is 1,000. Woo! Ceremonies at the end of 12th grade. Uh, what is graduation? Well done in the category! Alright, where to? I'll take fairy tales for 200. What the Emperor's new clothes were made of. What is nothing? Fairy tales 400. He said, Open Sesame! Who is Alibaba? In the five figures now. Fairy tales for 600. The rats followed his music out of the town of Hamelin. Who is the Pied Piper? Fairy Tales 800, please. She warned everyone she met, The sky is falling! Who is Chicken Little? Oh, darn. That's correct. Let's go fairy tales for a thousand. A plain looking bird with a beautiful voice sings for the Emperor in this Anderson fairy tale. Oh, uh, with a beautiful voice sings for the Emperor. I'm not sure on this one. I'm just going to say who is the ugly duckling. That is wrong. So we'll put in uh, $1,000 in Wendy Incorporated's bank. I believe we have to put in another 400 because a clue was missed. Oh, the Nightingale. Okay. Because the $400 clue in Captain Power was, uh, was, got, was it answered incorrectly, so we forgot to add the 400 So now it's correct. It jumped over the moon. What's a cow? Who did what for 200? He sat on a wall and had a great fall. Who is Humpty Dumpty? Uh, who did what for 600? He called for his fiddlers three. Who is Old King Cole? Who did what for 800? He had a wife and couldn't keep her. Who is Peter Peter Pumpkin Eater? Let's go who did what for a thousand. She made some tarts. Who's the queen of hearts? Alright. So I'm up to 13,700. On the farm for 200, please. The season when most crops are planted. What is spring? That's right. On the farm, 400, please. Uh, make it a true daily double. A vehicle used to pull equipment for plowing and seeding. What is a tractor? That's right. On the farm for 600, please. The name given to an area where fruit trees are grown. What is an orchard? Take on the farm for 800. 
Chemicals used to make soil richer and promote growth. What is fertilizer? On the farm, 1,000. A doctor calls to care for sick animals. What is a veterinarian? That's right. I'll take word turnarounds for 200. Mary turns around to become morning moisture or, gra or grass. Morning moisture on grass. What are wed and dew? A word turnarounds for 400, please. A train track turns around to become a fibber. What are rail and lyre? I'll take word turnarounds for 600, please. Halls turns around to become cooking vessels. What are stop and pots? I'll take more turnarounds for 800. An onion like vegetable turns around to become part of a ship. What are leek and keel? Oh, that's better. A war turnaround is 1000. I'll do it again. Surprise turns around to become almonds or pistachios. What are stun and nuts? Zoology 200. The tallest animal in the zoo. What's a giraffe? Four hundred. Zoology is the category. These huge black and white bears are found in China. What are pandas? Uh, six hundred. The animal with the closest intelligence to man. What is the monkey? 800. Over $65,000 at this point in the game. The small member of the kangaroo family. What is the wallaby? Now the last clue. A large zoo cage for living birds. What is an... I'm trying to remember this one. What is an atrium? No. Couldn't remember. Oh! Oh, I think I remember now. Think I, I think I know this one. An aviary, yeah. Just now came to me. Oh well. So I have 65,400 and a 1,700. Keith's still at 300. Let's play Final Jeopardy. The category is mountains. I'm going to go 34,000. $600. And if I get this right, Alex will profit $100,000. I'd very much like that to happen. Mountains is the category, and here is the clue. Let's look at it now. Carved on Mount Rushmore are heads of Lincoln, Washington, Jefferson, and this president. Who is Theodore Roosevelt? And I lock that in, so Alex is going to get a hundred grand. Let's go ahead and write that down. Don't want to forget. So, Wayne Incorporated will profit a total of $2,600. Whereas Alex is going to profit $100,000. I know he'll like that a lot. And we will go ahead and stop for this segment, and I'll see you all for that next one right after this.